Welcome again to our course Manufacturing Processes 2. We are running module 4, General Purpose Machine Tools. And now is the fifth lecture under module 4, mounting of jobs that is workpiece or blanks and cutting tools in machine tools, which are very important because the perfection or quality of manufacturing or by machining is affected by properness or appropriateness of mounting of the tool and job. There are two parts, part A and part B. We have already completed part A. Now, today uh, I can cover part B. The overall specific instruction object, the total content of the lecture, part A and part B, I remind you that state the principles and conditional requirements of mounting jobs and tools in machine tools. What should be the principle and what should be the requirements to be fulfilled while mounting job and tool that has to be taken care of. Illustrate in detail how the jobs and cutting tools are really mounted in different types of machine tools, conventional machine tools, general purpose like lathes, drilling machines, shaping, planing and slotting machines, milling machine, grinding machines. And then point out requirements and show methods of mounting of jobs and tools in CNC machine tools. Because CNC machine tools is a special category of machine tool which are very precision, flexibly automatic uh, and these are the machine tools of future and present. So, special care should be taken about mounting tool and job of CNC machine tools. Now, up to drilling machine we have completed in the part A. So, today we shall start from the mounting of job and tool in shaping machine, planing machine, slotting machines and then milling machine, grinding machine and so on. So, this part B starts. Mounting of jobs and tools in the reciprocating machine tools, mainly shaping machines, planing machines, slotting machines. I remind you once again that these three machine tools are not very productive machine tools. They, they cannot work at high speed or rate of production as well as the quality of product are also not that good. Excepting planing machine, which is really more productive compared to shaping and slotting, but as such these three machines are not very productive. Shaping machines, slotting machines are used for piece production, are required for maintenance, repair and so on. Even then, there are certain methods of mounting job and tool in this machine tools. Let us start from shaping machines. Mounting of jobs, the method of mounting of jobs or workpiece in shaping machines. There are three basic methods. This is, a very, this is not a very versatile machine. So, the mounting of tool and job are very simple. First, direct clamping on the bed. So, the workpiece which is heavy, maybe odd shape will be directly mounted on the lathe bed which is horizontal okay? with the help of clamps, uh, T bolts, uh, shoes or supports uh, and then V blocks and so on. Directly clamped. But if the jobs are small in size and of irregular, of regular size and shape, then they can be easily mounted in the vise, ordinary vise or swiveling vise or universal vise, which I described in my previous lecture. And then the vise will be clamped strongly on the lathe, on the drilling machine bed. So, second one, as I said, gripped in vise, which is clamped on the bed. This is applicable for jobs of smaller size and regular geometrical shape. Another case for batch production sometime, the jobs are repeatedly you know loaded unloaded, same job, same size and shape of job is repeatedly loaded on the machine for machining. In that case, a special fixture will be better. 
actually more economically justified. So, start from say tool mounting in clapper box. Now, you have seen I have told you that how the jobs are mounted in shaping machine. Now, this is a shaping machine all right. This is a shaping machine and where this is the cutting tool which is mounted in the clapper box and this is the work piece. Now, see in this diagram enlarged view this is the cutting tool and this is the work piece. This work piece suppose it is a cylindrical piece okay, and you have to make a surface flat like this this surface has to make flat and then you, you may have to make a square shape like this. So, bounded by four parallel surfaces flat surfaces. Now, you know the method the tool will reciprocate the job will move slowly in this direction or in that direction. So, the job here is mounted in the vise this vise is fitted on the the vise is fitted here this vise on the bed that is the shaping machine bed and that slides along the guide and the tool mounted on the clapper box which reciprocates along this. Now, the tools those are used in shaping machine including even a planning machine they are single point. Single point means it has got only one cutting edge okay? one cutting point not one cutting edge, but one cutting point say this is one cutting point for shaping tool this is got single point tool and this can make flat surface like this or like turning and then sometimes the tool can be with a now the radius okay, for producing form these are called form tools this can be produced in flat surface or like that. Okay. Now, these tools those are used in shaping machines are single point single point and this tool as I told already you is mounted in the clapper box this is the tool this is a small tool mounted in the tool holder this is a tool holder tool holder is mounted into the clapper box this is the clapper box which can which will remain in position during the forward stroke and the return stroke this will be lifted to avoid rubbing and this is mounted on the shaping head that is mounted on the ram and this ram reciprocates imparting cutting velocity. So, this is how shaping machine work in tool and job are mounting. Now, mounting of job and tools in planing machines you remember that planing machines are much larger in size okay, much more rigid and rugged compared to shaping machines and planing machines are used for large work pieces large and heavy work pieces where heavy depth of cut are given. So, this is one this is one you see this is a planing machine this is the table this reciprocates unlike shaping machine and this is the job mounted on this table this is the cutting tool and there may be number of cutting these are tool holders or tool heads mounted on a rail and these heads can move radially and the entire rail can the entire rail can move up and down. So, the cutting tools can move laterally as well as vertically and here number of cutting tools can be mounted unlike in shaping machine only one cutting tool is mounted. Now, job mounting in planing machine how direct clamping by direct clamping as you see here this is a plate like work piece which is clamped. Now, this is the plate like work piece which is mount clamped here on the table and this is the cutting tool which is mounted in the clapper box and that is fitted into the head tool head one tool head and this is another tool head. So, this is how the cutting tools are fitted the tool shank or tool holder this one and this is the clapper box and this is the T slots in which the T bolts are fitted and this is the front view of the cutting tool holder. Now, in fixture for batch production if we want same thing to be produced repeatedly then one fixture can be 
the used where the job can be easily loaded, supported and clamped. Now, most of the tools as is the in attachment for special work. Now, sometimes some special work is done. What is means say for example, a special work. So, there is a rod, large rod, okay, large rod here and in this rod a helical groove has to be cut, helical groove has to be cut like this. Now, this can be done by using a special attachment, this was shown in my previous lectures that how such helical slot can be cut in a large job in a planing machine. For that the mounting will be done on an attachment, maybe centers and special attachments. Next comes the cutting tools, mounting of the cutting tools. Again you remember that in spraying machine all the tools are single point tools, maybe straight form tool or cutting tool, simply surfacing tool, single point tool. Now unlike shaping machine, as I told in shaping machine only one tool can be mounted at a time, only one tool can mount at a time, so this one. But in case of planing machines, number of tools on the rail, on this, on this rail, on this rail number of tool heads can be mounted. Okay. And now this, here you can see, this is one example. This is one work piece, say lathe bed or a machine tool bed, a planing machine bed, okay. this one. After casting, this surfaces, after this horizontal surface, this horizontal surface, this surface, this horizontal surface are to be perfectly machined and parallel. And the vertical surface is shown over here, these are also to be machined. Now, this here you can see that this tool, this two and this two at the bottom, all the four tools can move simultaneously in this direction. They will produce all the four surfaces simultaneously, simultaneously because the tools will be, these tools will be mounted on the tool heads which will be mounted on the rail and then for the vertical surfaces say the vertical surfaces here 4 or the vertical surfaces will be produced simultaneously by these 4 tools. And all the 4 tools will be mounted in the 4 different clapper box and 4 different tool heads and all the tool heads will move, they will be mounted here suppose and the rail will, this rail as a whole will be made to move downward and all the tools will work simultaneously. So, this is how the tools are mounted. in planning machines. Now come to job and tool mounting in slotting machines. I remind you slotting machine is also a very resilient, compliant, low productive, non-automatic machine tool behaves just like a vertical shaper. The cutting tool reciprocates, but it reciprocates vertically up and down okay? and the job remains stationary on the table which may move either linearly or rotate slowly. Now, this is a slotting machine. You remember that this is a slotting machine, this is a slotting machine, this is the cutting tool holder, this is the cutting tool mounted in the tool head, mounted in the ram which moves up and down and the work piece is mounted on this table and this is the body of the machine. Now, how the jobs are mounted and tools are mounted? job mounting directly clamped on the sliding bed. Now, this bed, this is the bed, this bed can slide either in this direction or in this direction cross feed, longitudinal feed cross feed. So, if you put a job, then you can make cutting by this tool at different positions. This is a one way. Second method, the job can be mounted on the rotary table. on the rotary table or chuck. Now, this is a rotary table, okay. this is mounted on the bed. On the rotary table a chuck is mounted, this is you can see this is the chuck, this shows the chuck mounted on a rotary table. This rotary table 
can be manually or automatically slowly intermittently rotated and now this is the workpiece say gear blank or a gear is mounted here and within the gear within this gear there is a hole so there is a hole one t slot has to be cut like this or a t slot has to be cut like this here a group actually this is nothing but a group so the group has to be cut by a cutting tool this is a cutting tool this is a tool holder mounted into the tool head now this is another view this is the tool holder this is a tool holder this rod like it can be bar like and this is the cutting tool this cutting tool cuts during the vertical stroke during the vertical down stroke say uh, this is the work this is a work piece this is a work piece and there is a hole already and then a slot has to be cut so when this moves downward this cutting tool removes material like this and produces this slot here this slot so now in case of batch production a fixture can be clamped on the rotary bed where the small jobs repeated for repeated production or batch production will be easily and quickly located and uh, supported and clamped and withdrawn and so on now the cutting tools again the cutting tools only single point cutting tools are used that can be ordinary or that can be form tool but these are all single point tools okay these are all single point tools now the single point tools are mounted the tool holder this is the tool holder and this is the cutting tool now let us go to next mounting of job and tools in milling machines now milling machines are very versatile though general purpose but very very versatile machine tool and large number of uh, and type of cutting tools of different type different size different shape different geometry and sometimes different material are used for making various kinds of basically sur flat surface but formed surface can also be done and work like slitting slotting parting surfacing can be done so here the method of mounting of the job and tool are very wide unlike shaping planing and slotting now let us see one by one mounting of jobs in milling machine is a general method there will be always certain special methods we are not discussing the special methods we are discussing the general methods now first you see the direct clamping on the table the machine the milling machine has got a large table on the table the job can be mounted directly especially when the job is a little large in size a little odd shape and only one or two pieces have to be made then this is better to be clamped on the machine bed directly with the help of say clamps then t bolts and uh, supporting shoes and similar other say uh, v block or various things angle plates are required gripped in vise just like shaping machine and uh, other planing machines if the job is smaller and of regular shape and to be produced in little large number then better you grip it in a vise and the vise will remain fixed on the table and on the table in the vise you mount the job then mounted on dividing head now divide what is dividing head you remember that this is one dividing head this is one dividing head it's not sorry this is the dividing head okay this is the dividing head what is the dividing head this is the device where the input is operated manually or it can be coupled with this feed of automatic motion but some of this will be rotated slowly as a result on the output side at the face the chuck or the spindle will rotate slowly continuously or intermittently normally intermittently for indexing purpose all right now this is can be rotated at a definite angle at regular intervals and this axis spindle will also rotate accordingly now this head this face can be made horizontal axis or it can be made vertical axis as you like now mounted on dividing head directly on chuck 
Now, here this is a dividing head, you put a chuck, this is a chuck, chuck is fitted at the face of the dividing head, the axis is kept vertical and this is the work piece. A work piece you can see that a work piece small work piece is mounted here. This is nothing but a rod is mounted and here the material has to be removed flat surface and then it has to be indexed and a hexagonal prism has to be made by this milling cutter. All right. So, this is the milling cutter placed in the milling arbor cutting tool and this is the job which is mounted into the vise as a chuck, chuck is fitted into the indexing head with axis vertical. Now, this can be used in another way also. As you can see here, in the dividing head the mandrel is mounted, on the mandrel the job is mounted say gear to be cut, a teeth of gear and this is the cutter. So, when this job will move in this direction along with the table, along with the table dividing etcetera, this milling cutter will rotate and produce this gap between the teeth of the gear. So, one tooth gap is produced, then this will be indexed, after indexing you cut another group, then you index again and so by indexing one after another, the all the teeth of the profile will be made and this rotation indexing will can be done manually or it can be coupled with this, normally done manually with the help of say dividing head, some whole plate and there are many other methods, this has been described in books. This is on mandrel as is shown over here. Now, sometime the job in milling machine is mounted in fixtures, again I tell you that when there is a batch production or a small lot production of a small size piece repeatedly a num number, then taking the trouble of marking, fixing into the uh, vice and all these things or the plate better you design and develop a small fixture and put the job easily quickly uh, into the fixture and you unload it. So, the job can be done very quickly and repeatedly. So, the fixture has to be used can be used in all machines for batch production. Next let us see mounting of cutting tools. So, we have discussed about mounting of job. Now, mounting of cutting tools in general purpose milling machines. Now, what are the general methods on milling arbor? You know the most common type of milling machine is uh, knee type horizontal arbor type knee type milling machine and this is the this is called arbor, this is the arbor. Okay and this is a support and this is connected to the spindle in the ram and so on you remember and this rotate this mandrel rotates. On that cutting tools this is one cutting tool this is another cutting tool and this is the work piece which is mounted on the table all right a long table. So, the table moves in this direction and the job rotates along with the man, mandrel. So, you get this surface or side surface is cut. Now, come to the point on milling arbor what are the categories? Here these cutters are mounted on cutters, what kind of cutters are mounted? Plain and disc type cutters which are hollow, which have got certain hole or bore, this is a bore, the, all these cutters will have a bore, okay. this is a cutter with a bore and through that the mandrel will pass this mandrel. So, on the mandrel the job will the cutter will be fitted like this and there will be collars, there will be a number of collars. like this by which these tools will be positioned. Now, in spindle through collets, now straight shank, straight shank end mill cutters, you know end mill cutters are really small size generally from say 1 2 millimeter to up to say 30 millimeter, this may be straight shank or taper shank, mostly straight shank like this, this is a, this is a cutter, end mill cutter, this will be fitted into the collet, this is a collet. Okay. So, this is the outer surface which will be rotated after fitting this one the end will be rotated and this will be tightly held into the collet by rotating the cover. And now, the collet is mounted into a tool holder, this is called a rugged 
tool holder and it has got taper and this taper end shank will be fitted into the spindle which has got a taper bore similar taper bore and this ends are used for locating or strong clamping and further this will be pulled in this side by a drawbar ok you know drawbar. Now, this example is shown over here this is the mandrel this is the support and this is the milling cutter mounted on that on the arbor and this is the work piece mounted on a vice and vice is fitted onto the table. Other methods of mounting tools in milling machines fixing in short and rugged arbor fitted in the spindle. Now, th there is a spindle here suppose within the spindle this one suppose this is a spindle in this this is a taper bore into the taper bore this arbor will be fitted into the arbor this cutting tool will be fitted this is the cutting tool and this will be clamped by a screw this screw. So, how it is done what kind of tool little bigger size shell milling cutters this is called shell milling cutters which is little bigger size maybe say 40 millimeter to uh, 100 millimeter even more and face milling cutters are very large and heavy this can be you know from 80 millimeter to up to 1000 millimeter this is one example of face milling cutter, but this is very small with only 6 cutting edges, okay. but this can be as large as 1000 millimeter or 1 meter with around 60 cutting edges. Now, this kind of cutting tools or shell mill cutters are mounted into the machine like this. So, this will be fitted down the face of this rugged arbor, then it will be fixed by the screw and this will be fitted into the spindle. So, this is how it is done. Next is now in milling machines, now in milling cutters nowadays like other cutting tools carbide inserts are used. Carbide inserts which are mechanically clamped on the steel body. Now, this is one example. This is a face milling cutter as I told you face milling cutter and these are the inserts milling inserts. These milling inserts can be square or can be rectangular or can be triangular normally in milling cutter face milling cutter this kind of cutting edges are used this can be hollow or solid. Okay. These are very small size maybe half inch square like that and this carbide inserts are mechanically clamped at different points when they are worn out they are mechanically unclamped and new cutting inserts are placed in, but they can be indexed time to time because it has got all the inserts have got four cutting edges after exhausting all four cutting edges they have to be replaced. Now, this is one end mill cutter large size end mill cutter here you can see with helical fluid there are a number of inserts are mounted in small size end mill cutters the inserts are mounted here three or four inserts in end mill cutters even one say inter uh, insert can be fitted. Now, we have talked about milling machine, but mind that nothing is exhaustive in such a short time we are describing mainly the general purpose machine tool and the general methods of mounting tool and job. Now, come to another important area of manufacturing machining grinding mounting of job and tool in a grinding machine. Now, remember grinding machines are special machines which are used for precision work for finishing purpose. So, grinding process as such is a finishing process. How does it work? And all the grinding cutting tools are wheels, okay? just disc like wheels like this. And in this finishing process the tiny grits which function like small you know cutting edges they remove gradually the material from the surface of the job. This is one surface and one job and uh, say this is a job and this is a job and these are the wheels. Okay. And then because of the interaction or relative movement between the tool and the job, the small grids abrasive grids which are projected like this projected like this, they remove the material here from this side 
from the periphery. Now, the two categories this is called cylindrical grinding and this is called surface grinding. Both of them are producing surface, this is producing cylindrical surface and this is producing flat finishing surface, all right. But removing material by the fine tiny cutting edges in the form of grids which are dispersed or bonded in a material like vitrified bond or resin bond or rubber bond or maybe as such a metal bond, okay. And this wheel rotates the cutting tool which is always circular will rotate at high speed imparting the cutting velocity and the job will move slowly either rotation or translation these are called feed motions. So, that entire surface comes into contact with the wheel. So, this is the basic principle of grinding. Now, mounting of jobs in grinding machines. Now, as it is a precision machining used for high quality uh, good surface dimensional accuracy and finish. So, very very special care have to be taken all along, all along in mounting the job and the cutting tool. Otherwise, the quality will not be desirably well. Now, the method of mounting the job and the tool largely depends upon what is the kind of the grinding process we are thinking of or what are the grinding machine tools we are considering. So, first of all we must have thorough knowledge about what are the different grinding tech, uh, systems, what are the different types of grinding machines and depending on that we have to decide and understand that how the tool and the job will be mounted in those different machine tools. Now, basically grinding machines and grinding processes are categorized like this. Say <coughs> cylindrical grinding this produces cylindrical surfaces. Now, cylindrical surfaces can be external like this or it can be internal like this internal surface. Surface grinding which produces flat surface really. Now, this is the flat surface here. Now, this sur flat surface can be produced in different machine tools in the different configuration. In one case the grinding wheel axis remains horizontal. It remains horizontal wheel is mounted like this and the job is either reciprocated under the job under the tool or the job is mounted on the table which is rotated. Sometimes the wheel axis is vertical and the wheel rotates. So, this is the axis vertical shaft and the, this is the grinding wheel and you can, can put the job on the surface. So, because of the rotation this surface will be machine. So, vertical ax wheel axis, but, but even then it is producing flat surface. Linearly moving table when the table moves linearly or when the table rotates. Now, similarly form grinding, in form grinding special form are produced 3D or 2D forms, this can be again external form, internal form. Say in a bearing, say this is the outer race where this form has to be ground, this form, the internal surface. Then if we want to produce say uh, inner race, so inner race will have some surfaces like this. So, this is external forming, this is internal forming, this is external forming. Central lens grinding is another which is also external and internal, this we will describe later on and there is another what is called free form grinding uh, which will be uh, which you can learn also. Now, mounting of jobs in grinding machines and we have come across, we have been aware of different types of grinding machines. So, when we talk about mounting of job and tool, we must keep in mind which kind of grinding process or machine tool we are considering. In cylindrical grinding, say in cylindrical grinding machine, which produces cylindrical surface. Again, when it is a cylindrical, it will be either external like this, this is external surface or internal. Now, this is the external surface. External surface which have to be finished after turning or this can be internal, the internal surface has to be finished. Now, when we finish it the external cylindrical surface just like turning, when we do turning operation the tool is moved in this direction. Now, this cutting tool is replaced by a grinding wheel which rotates about this axis and this wheel is made to move, this is mounted on a bed or this is not moved in this direction, rather 
the bed on which the job is mounted that is moved in this direction. As a result, this surface is complete. This comes in this direction the and simultaneously this also rotates. So, the entire surface is finished. Now, come to internal. This is a bush like where the inner hole has to be was made by casting or forging or extrusion or maybe by pre machining, but then finished to appropriate dimension and surface finish by a grinding. So, this is the grinding wheel which rotates at high speed and this is the job which also rotates. The job is also to rotate to get this finishing throughout the surface all right. And here in internal grinding the wheel is very small, smaller than the hole, but in external grinding whatever be the size of the job the wheel is very large, diameter is kept large to reduce chip load per grid. So, this is cylindrical grinding. Mounting a job in surface grinding. Now, as I told you in surface grinding, we produce flat surface. This is the flat surface, this surface is flat. Okay. Now, this job, this is a block where this surface, this entire flat surface has to be finished. Now, this is a grinding wheel which rotates about this axis. So, this is the spindle, on this spindle, this wheel is mounted and clamped. So, it rotates at high speed, rotates at high speed and the job that is made to move in this direction gradually or it can reciprocate it, it can reciprocate along the surface. This job will be mounted on a magnetic vice, this is called magnetic vice. So, when this will be energized, put on all the magnetic action will be there and job will be held by magnetic force. Here you can see one practical example, this is a German machine and this is the wheel say CBN wheel kibiboron nitride mounted on the spindle, mounted on the spindle and this is the work piece which is mounted into the job holder that is mounted on the dynamometer which is mounted onto the magnetic chuck that is again mounted on the table which reciprocates. This is one method. Okay. Now, here you can see that again when the wheel axis is horizontal, the wheel rotate like this and you can produce lot of flat surfaces, say small rod like pieces you have to make, small rod like pieces. So, this blanks will be placed on this table here and this table will gradually rotate, this gradually rotate and, and all the surfaces of all the jobs will be finished. So, now in case of vertical axis, this is a vertical axis, this is also vertical axis. So, this is the grinding wheel. Now, this grinding wheel is slightly different. These grinding wheels are cup shaped, are cup shaped. So, this is the grinding surface okay. and then this finishes, suppose these are the bearings bearing faces of the bearings have to be finished. All these are mounted on the tray or directly onto the magnetic clutch, mag sorry magnetic uh, base vice and this will reciprocate slowly or move slowly and this will keep on rotating. So, all the jobs will be finished in batch. Here the, the wheel is rotating and the jaws mounting on a table that is also rotating about another axis. So, you get all the jobs finished. So, these are the various methods of mounting. jobs in grinding machines. Central is grinding, what is central is grinding? Central is grinding is a process where is a mass production method or large production method where the job work piece is not held in between the chuck or into the center. The job is just floating, okay. it is not held by center, this is not held in a chuck. Then how it is held? Suppose this is, this is the rod job. Now, this rod, this rod is the work piece and the cylindrical surface has to be finished by grinding. So, this is the job which is just put on a rest, a plate, 
Okay. So, this is st. Now, then there is a grinding wheel which rotates in this direction, comes into contact and grinds and the job is rotated gradually by a guide wheel. This is a high friction made of hard rubber wheel which rotates about this axis. So, when this rotates about this axis like this, the job gradually or in this direction, the job will rotate in this direction and all the surfaces throughout the surface grinding operation will be accomplished. So, what is there? One rest on which the job will simply dropped, rod like job will be dropped. The grinding wheel, large grinding wheel will come into contact. Before that, this will be guided by, so the guide wheel and this wheel work together. So, the guide wheel keep the job in position, make it rotate to bring all the surface towards the grinding wheel. Now, this is the front view, okay, axial view. What is the side view? This is the rod which is mounted on a rest plate and this is the big over one is the grinding wheel and this is the guide wheel. Why it is inclined? If you want, if the small rods are ground, then the width of the job is smaller than the width of the grinding wheel. So, you simply drop it and the grinding wheel will be wider and this will finish. But if the rod is a long one and this large rod and wheel is smaller, then the rod has to be fed axially. In case of grinding, say long rods, maybe 1 meter, 2 meter long, then this rod, this long rod has also to be fed continuously in this direction. So, that throughout the length and periphery, this grinding is accomplished. For that, this guide wheel is kept little bit inclined. So, when it rotates, the velocity vector will have a an axial component and radial component. This tangential component makes the job rotate and this axial component makes the job move gradually along this axis. This is external cylindrical grinding. Now, what about internal cylindrical grinding? This is the ring, this ring is the object. The inner, the outer surface, the outer surface of this ring has to be finished, all right, and or the inner surface has to be finished. So, this is the guide wheel and this is the ring job, this is the guide, uh, this is the grinding wheel inside and these are two guide rollers. Now, these two rollers function as this stay or rest of the job which keep the ring in position and this is the guide wheel which makes this ring rotate and so this is making, now in this case this is the grinding wheel, this is the guide wheel which grind the outer surface and this one, this is the grinding wheel, this is the guide wheel and this makes, finishes the inner surface of the job. Now, mounting of wheels, you have heard so far mounting of jobs in grinding machines, now mounting of wheels. Now, wheels are nothing but the cutting tools in grinding machines. Only one type of, only one cutting tool is mounted, one that is called wheel. And what is a wheel? Wheel is a disc like or a cup shape and it will be definitely symmet axis symmetrical or circular type, which will be, which will have a central hole and the, through that a spindle will pass and this will be fitted. So, all the grinding wheels are circular, either disc shape or ring shape or cup shape as shown over here a rod like. Now, the different methods of mounting the grinding wheels in spindle, these are the spindles of grinding machine. Now, again you remember that the spindle of grinding machine rotates at very high speed, maybe 2000 to 6000, maybe more up to 40,000 rpm, even more in high production machining. On the spindle, this grinding machine has to be fitted, these are the grinding wheels. Now, this is an internal grinding process for internal grinding. As I told you that internal grinding process, the size of the wheel, diameter of the wheel should be smaller than the diameter of the bore to be finished. So, usually the diameter of the wheel is very small in internal grinding. These are fitted on the spindle in this fashion like this. These are various methods. This is by clamping, this is also clamping and this is embedding, okay, just by the casting together. For external grinding with horizontal wheel axis, this is the, this is the spindle, these are the spindles all the spindles are horizontal axis and these are the wheels, grinding wheels which are mounted. Here you can see the disc type wheel which is, this is the spindle on this side and here it is fitted by two plates 
and finally clamped by a knot. These are the clamping knot. This is called cup shaped wheel. This is another large disc shape which is mounted on this spindle by the system and here is the extra plate for balancing purpose. Now large and heavy ring shaped wheel. So this is one. This is the axis of the spindle and this is the spindle and this is the wheel holder and this is the wheel. So this wheel looks like a ring like this. This is the wheel in the last and this will be cupped and this will be fitted into the spindle shown. And this is called segmented is so large that grinding segments are fitted into the throughout the periphery at the face. Now mounting of job and tools in CNC machine tools. Now CNC machine tools again they are computer numerical control, they are high precision machine tool, quite sophisticated, very sophisticated, flexibly automatic and they are used for precision job. So again I tell you that special care should be taken regarding the appropriateness of mounting of the tool and job. Before I go into the mounting methods we should study what are the distinguished characteristics, distinguished characteristics of CNC machine tools which should be remembered for mounting of the job and tool for all purposes. Now the first characteristics of CNC machines is that when it is a CNC machine computer numerical control CNC lathe, CNC milling machine, CNC grinding machine, CNC are the higher versions of machining center and so on. Flexibility through programming facility. Now what is flexibility? Now automation is of two types. You remember fixed automation and flexible automation. Fixed automation which is mechanically accomplished and if the job changes lot of things of the automatic system or devices have to be replaced, redesigned, remanufactured and reset. So it is a huge amount of effort, time and money involved when you change the product from one job to another. But nowadays we are going towards batch production where the job lot size is very small and the product has to be changed very frequently. So the automatic system should be very flexible to cope up with the rapid change in the product. So this flexibility in the automation is essential and this is assisted by what is called software or programming. You simply change the program and a new tool set will be ready and the sequence or process planning will be ready and new job will be done. Versatility, these machines are just like two in one, three in one like that. Different types of machining work can be accomplished. Say machining center where milling, drilling, boring, tapping, countersinking, all these various operations are done. So these machines are very versatile. Now ability to machine, ability to machine complex geometry, yes, by appropriate programming intelligent programming you can get very complex shape or complex geometry machine. Dimensional accuracy is very high and that is maintained consistently and there are main computer control. So many things are controlled by computer canning, then editing, then dry running and canning, do looping. These are all possible by then large library or storing large number of programs simultaneously and quick correction, changeover from one system to another can be done with the help of this computer. So this entry of computer since 1970 like that made a great breakthrough in the history of machining or machine tools. Now distinguishing characteristics of CNC machine tools, actually this has been over next. Now come to mounting of job in CNC machine tools. What are the methods? Now before you go into the process, please reconsider the essential requirements or features for mounting of job in CNC machine tools. First is rigid direct clamping and ease of locating. So the clamping of the job, large job has to be done very rigidly and directly clamped on the table because only one or two pieces are normally made, fixtures, jigs fixtures are not used. 
So, directly and rigidly mounted or clamped on the table and ease of locating. The locating here in machining system, the cutting tool is made to touch at any point and that becomes the reference. So, locating and all these things are not that difficult. Wherever you mount the job or clamp the job, the tool automatically will decide the locating. Easy and quick loading and unloading, yes. The job should be loaded and unloaded from the machine and, and to the machine should be done very quickly and comfortably, preferably by cranes because these are very heavy and should not be damaged by cranes or robots. Minimal or no need of jigs and fixtures. I told you that this is used for mainly piece production or job order production. So, there is no need of jig fixtures. Wide range of jobs, wide range of job means in size, in shape, in weight, in material will be covered because this is so flexible in all respects. So, wide range of work material can be covered. Identification and use of datum surfaces, yes. In machining by CNC machine tools, when you mount the job and the tool, this reference planes or reference edges, either some reference surfaces, reference surface or a reference hole or a reference surface or any or edge have to be decided. Okay? Now, job mounting. This shows an example, a typical example of job mounting. This is, an work, this is a cutting tool mounted to the milling machine spindle and this is an end mill cutter and the work piece is fitted on the table with the help of T bolt. This is T bolt and this is clamp and this is shoe. Okay? This is how these are mounted. Then what about mounting of tools in CNC machine tools? Similarly, some requirements are to be fulfilled and care should be taken. Easy, quick and accurate locating and clamping. Now, this is inherent in this kind of machine tool and, and this has to be kept in mind. These are provided by the manufacturer. Large tool bank, because these machine tools are so versatile that large number of cutting tools should be preserved. Okay, as and when required, the appropriate tool has to be selected and replaced. So, large tool bank from where tool will be pulled and put in. Quick tool change, suppose one drilling is going on and then the drill has to be replaced by next is one boring tool, then by a reamer. So, the tool have to be changed very quickly. The tool will be sent back to the tool bank and a new tool has to be brought back into the from the tool bank and fitted into the spindle. So, the fitting into the spindle and bringing back to this storage and uh, bank or magazine have to be done very quickly. And if necessary, in some sophisticated machines, automatic tool changes are used. Automatic tool changes called ATC. Now, all tools or adapters should have or they are all possess same standard tool shank because the cutting tools may be small, may be big, may be the drill or may be milling cutter, but all the tools have to be fitted one by one into the bore of the spindle. All right. So, the, the cutting tool may be different, but the tool, the tool holder should be of same size. So, that this can fit into this. So, it is stated that all tools or the adapters are with same standard tool shank. Say for example, here mounting of cutting tools in turret type CNC drilling machine, CNC drilling machine. Now, this is a drilling machine, this is a turret, this is called turret, which can rotate about this axis and these are the cutting tools, there are say 10 cutting tools. Not necessarily all of them are drills. If they are drills, they are of different size, different type, some of them may be boring tool, some of them may be tap, some of them may be a different cutter or like. Now, the job will be mounted on this table, okay, on the table by clamping or somehow. And this table can move in this direction or in y direction and the entire head turret can move up and down direction and this can rotate also. So, the cutting tools are fitted like this. So, the tool bank and according to the process plan, this will rotate An appropriate tool will come into action, do this, then will go back and will rotate. Another tool will come in and this way it will be done. And this cutting tools are fitted into the turret, into this turret there are holes, taper holes 
or straight holes and all the tools irrespective of their type and size must have the same shank so that any tool can be fitted into any slot or any home place. Mounting of tools in CNC milling machines and machining center. Now, CNC milling machine, which is basically milling machine, maybe horizontal axis or vertical axis. S small milling machines are vertical axis and large milling machines are horizontal axis normally. And if this can be CNC, that is computer numerical control. Computer numerical con control. Now, here you can see that this is the now machining center. I told you what is the machining center? Machining center is a higher version of milling machine, CNC milling machine, where only milling, milling operation is done, but in machining center, milling, drilling, boring, counter boring, counter sinking, various type of work can be done in machining center. So, for such versatile and various types of machining work, large number of tools from say 20 to 200 cutting tools can be stored into a magazine or what is called tool bank. This is, this is a drum okay, on which there are, these are the tool positions and in tools position there is a tool cutting tools and these cutting tools are all different, but the tool holder or shank are same that has to be same. Now, this is the spindle suppose this is the one cutting tool is fitted into the spindle this is a milling head this is the milling spindle, this is the cutter fitted into the, this is the cutter fitted into the tool shank. Okay. Now, this is the cutting tool, not cutting tool, this is the cutting tool actually fitted into the tool holder and this tool holder configuration is standard for all the tools. The cutting tools may be different, may be drill, may be big size, may be small size, may be boring tool or countersink tool, but all of them will be fitted into the shank or this arbor which must be of same size shape. So, that any tool any one can be fitted at any location of this drum. This is one very important aspect of machines CNC machines or machining center that is tool automatic tool changer. Now, here you can see one example this is one automatic tool changer. Here is a lever, okay. there is a lever just like a hand and there are two hands, okay. the two hands on two sides this one like this. So, this is one hand here and one hand there. So, what happens say this is the hand, this hand got there are two grips one grip here one grip here. So, this has got one tool is held here, one tool is held here suppose and this is the axis of rotation of this hand. So, this hand rotates. So, this one will grip the tool from the machine and this will grip a tool from the bank from this one and then this will pull this tool out from the spindle and take this tool out from this one and then this will rotate 180 degree and this tool comes here and the used up tool comes back here and now this will be fitted into the spindle and this tool bank. So, this is a tool hand, this is called ATC or automatic tool changer. This is the hand and this is the tool, these are two tools which will be interchanged from bank to the spindle. This is how it is done and this all these things is called machining center and the cutting tool can vary from say 20 to 200 and the job mounting, tool mounting everything should be very careful done, this is automatic. Do you know? this automatic tool changer enables change of the tool here one to another may be theoretically half second, practically may be maximum one second. So, within one second the tool is getting changed unlike in conventional process it takes from 5 minutes to say half an hour. So, this is the end of lecture today. Thank you.